Hey everybody, welcome to class today. Today is going to be a all levels but more towards a level two, three, um, fairly well-rounded class. We don't go really too deep into any particular um, theme of poses like hip openers or twists or anything, but there's a little bit of everything. And we have sliders. So you can do this entire class without the sliders. Whenever I'm saying to slide, you'll just step instead. And then I do give cues for if you're not using sliders um, for when we get to some single leg stuff. So just know that if you don't have sliders or paper plates or you know towels or something on a slidey surface, then that's totally fine. You can do this class without it. If you enjoy these classes, please remember to like and subscribe and tell a friend. And if you've got comments or feedback, please let me know in the comments section below. We are going to get started with our sliders towards the back of the mat. We'll kind of come and get them. And we are going to start standing at the top of the mat in Tadasana. Starting at the top of your mat in Tadasana, ground down evenly through both feet. Pick up the fronts of your feet, the toes, see if you can spread the toes nice and wide and then set them down one at a time. Draw energy up through the front of your legs. Inhale, loop the shoulders up towards the ears. And then open mouth, exhale, just let it go. Seal the lips, start to breathe in and out through the nose, Ujjayi Pranayama. As you inhale, take the arms up and overhead, interlace the fingers. As you exhale, palms to the sky. As you inhale, you're going to side bend over to the left and then take a bend in the knees. You're going to keep going all the way down and around, drawing a big circle. Exhale. And then inhale as you come up towards the left. Exhale, down and around to the right or the left, whichever way you're going. Inhale, up and around the other direction. One more to this side. You're going to pause at the top and then you're going to change directions. Exhale, down and around. Inhale, up and through center. One more this way. Inhale, separate the palms, reach the fingers to the sky. As you exhale, swan dive forward. Take opposite hand to opposite elbow, bend the knees, ragdoll. And then on your next, oh my God, what is that? On your next inhale, run the hands up the shins halfway, lift, lengthen the legs. As you exhale, hands come down the back of the legs, forward fold. One more like that, inhale, halfway, lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Generous bend in through the knees, drop the tail, stack the spine all the way to stand. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Surya Namaskar A. We'll take the first one slow. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, plant the hands, step the feet back, high plank pose. Set up your plank pose here. Hands are underneath the shoulders, energy through the legs, lengthen through the spine. We're going to hold here for five more breaths. Make sure you're expanding and contracting through your ridge cage rib cage you're not holding yourself rigid one more breath here shift forwards on the toes Hug the elbows to the body. Lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Untuck the toes. Pelvis and rib cage stay down as you inhale. Peel the chest up. Lengthen through the spine, baby cobra. Exhale, peel it down. Inhale, draw the heels back towards the hands. Peel up, baby cobra. Exhale, come down. Take three more here. Last one, and you're going to hold, take an inhale. As you exhale, you're going to shoot your hands back behind you. Palms can face up or down. Take one more inhale here. 
stay if it feels good. Otherwise, as you exhale, you're going to float those legs off the floor. Think of turning the big toes slightly up towards the sky, internal rotation through the legs. Back of the neck is long, lower belly is drawing away from the floor. Take two more breaths. Tuck under the toes, plant the hands underneath the shoulders, hug the elbows in, knees up or down as you press up into your plank or your tabletop. And then as you exhale, downward facing dog. Look towards the top of the mat, keep the legs as straight as you can, take baby steps all the way to the backs of the wrists. When you get there, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale. Raise up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, lengthen, exhale, plant the hands, step, walk or float, chaturanga, inhale, your choice, upward dog or cobra, exhale, come back to chaturanga, inhale to plank, exhale, downward dog, remember you can always skip anything you need, step, walk or float to the top, inhale, lengthen, Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk, or float. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk, or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. We've got three more rounds here. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, back to your chaturanga. Inhale, into your plank. Exhale, down dog. One more round like that. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float. Inhale, up dog, cobra. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, down dog. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet. And then you're going to step off your mat if you're coming onto sliders or if you need to, you're going to fold up your mat. If you don't need to fold up your mat, if you've got the space, then keep your mat long. You're going to come back into a plank with your feet on the sliders. Take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to slide the right leg out to the right. Keep the hips even. Inhale it back in. Exhale, left leg out. Inhale it in. Exhale, right. Inhale it in. Exhale, left. Inhale it in. You've got three more on each side. You could do this without the sliders, just by stepping your feet out. Option to stay here, otherwise we're going to go for 10 plank jacks. You're either jumping or sliding both feet out, together, out, together. Eight more. From here, you're going to draw your knees in towards your chest or pike your hips all the way to the top. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold. Surya Namaskar A with the sliders. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slide back, chaturanga. Inhale, option to come into your back bend. Exhale, back to chaturanga. Inhale, plank. As you exhale, you're either going to tuck the knees or you're going to pike the hips, slide forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise up. We've got four more like this. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale, option back bend or back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, slide forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, your transition. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, raise. We've got two more. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, transition. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank. Exhale to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, transition. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, plank and stay. This time as you exhale, you're either going to, no, we're all going to tuck the knees. So draw the knees into your bear. Inhale into your plank. Upper body doesn't move. Exhale, bear. Inhale to plank. Exhale, bear. Inhale to plank. Exhale, bear. Inhale to plank. Six more here. Come into your plank. Send yourself into a downward facing dog. Make sure you're not going to slide with your hands or your feet. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, slide back out into your chaturanga. We're going to do that again, but we're going to add. Take an inhale here. Exhale into your bear. Inhale, legs come apart like you're doing a plank jack, but they're bent. Exhale together. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bear. Inhale, spread. Exhale, that was a bad word, together. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bear. Inhale, jack. Exhale, bear. Inhale, plank. We're going to do six more here. Nice and slow. Two more. Send it back to plank. You're going to walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Bring your mat with you if you folded it up so you've got a nice long mat. That didn't work for me at all. You're going to come to the back of your mat. Take an inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. You're going to walk yourself all the way back out into a downward facing dog as I rearrange my situation here. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk, or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Sink the hips back. Inhale, chair pose. Make sure you can see your toes. Your feet can be apart. Excuse me. If your feet are apart, your knees are apart. Energy out through the fingertips. Coming back at the hips, so I'm not rounding my spine. My spine is in neutral. My hips go back. My chest comes forward. I reach out of my side body. Three more breaths here. Take an inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, cobra or plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, shift forward, round, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow. 
Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot through. We're setting up for crescent lunge. Back heel is lifted. Inhale, raise up. Make sure you can see your right big toe. Your shin is perpendicular to the floor and you're not tucking or overarching through your lower back. One more breath here. Exhale, take the hands down. Keep the right leg floating if you can, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Back to a single leg chaturanga. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, sweep the left leg up behind you. Exhale, shift forward, round, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through. Crescent lunge, inhale, set up your alignment points, settle in for five breaths. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, hands come down. Float the left leg as you can. If you can, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Back to a single leg chaturanga. Inhale, single leg plank. Exhale, downward dog. Surya B will flow it to the breath. Step, walk or float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, stand. Inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step, walk or float, chaturanga. Take it through your vinyasa. Right leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vinyasa, option to keep that right leg floating. Left leg steps, inhale, raise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, take it through, option single leg vinyasa. Step, walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, raise all the way up, chair pose. Exhale, press the sand. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Two more rounds. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, take your vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, through your vinyasa. Left leg steps, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale through your vinyasa. Step walk or float to the top. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale to stand. Last round, inhale, chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Right leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, vinyasa.
walk your hands towards the back of your mat once again if you need to fold up your mat a little bit to create space you're going to do that and you're going to bring those feet back onto the sliders we're going to take a single leg vinyasa so if that's too much for you you're going to come back to what we did before otherwise you're going to inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale you're going to come into your chair pose as you exhale you're going to shift the weight into the left leg bring the right knee into the chest take an inhale here as you exhale you're going to come into warrior three inhale warrior three exhale plant the hands standing split inhale halfway lift exhale you're going to slide that left foot back all the way into a single leg chaturanga inhale you're going to come back up to a plank exhale chaturanga inhale to a plank as you exhale you're going to step that right foot up in between the hands and then inhale come up into your lunge listen carefully as you exhale you're going to keep the bend in the right knee you're just going to slide that left leg in inhale crescent lunge exhale hands can come to heart center inhale crescent lunge we've just got three more inhale crescent lunge as you exhale you're going to float that right leg back take it through chaturanga inhale plank option second chaturanga inhale plank exhale draw the left knee all the way to the chest listen carefully single leg tadasana draw that right knee in towards the chest inhale sweep it up exhale fold forward through your warrior three into that standing split inhale halfway lift and lengthen as you exhale you're going to take it through your vinyasa double chaturanga single feel free to skip the whole thing inhale into your plank exhale step that right foot to the edge of your mat as you inhale come up into your crescent exhale draw the left knee in inhale crescent exhale left knee in inhale crescent you've got three more stay nice and low in that right leg inhale crescent exhale hands come down inhale single leg plank exhale take it through your vinyasa from your plank draw that left knee in towards the chest single leg tadasana ground down through that left foot inhale come all the way to stand exhale come through your warrior three fold all the way forward inhale halfway lift and lengthen we're going to do two more on this side as you exhale slide the left leg back through your vinyasa step that right foot forward inhale crescent lunge exhale draw the left knee in inhale send it back four more inhale crescent lunge exhale take it through your vinyasa draw that left knee in towards the chest come all the way up to standing on that left leg as you inhale sweep the arms up we've got one more exhale forward fold inhale lengthen exhale vinyasa step the right leg forward inhale crescent lunge exhale left leg pulls in inhale send it back four more inhale into your crescent exhale come down through your vinyasa find that other slider underneath your right foot if you kicked it to the back of the room accidentally so now you're in a plank with both feet on the floor you're going to inhale you're going to bring the legs wide into that plank jack keep them wide as you exhale bend the knees so you're in a wide bear inhale send them back exhale feet together inhale wide exhale knees bend inhale send it back exhale together eight more
Two more. Last one. Draw both knees in towards the chest. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come back into your chair pose. We're shifting weight to the right this time as you exhale. Left slider can come off to the side. Inhale, come through your warrior three. Exhale, fold all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, slide that right slider back through your vinyasa, or you can skip it. Left leg will step forward. Inhale, you're coming up into your crescent lunge. As you exhale, keep the left knee bent. Right knee draws in. Inhale, slide it back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, slide it back. Three more here. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, float that left leg back. Option to take that vinyasa. Draw the right knee in towards the chest. Come all the way to stand on the right leg as you inhale. As you exhale, come via your warrior three, slow and controlled all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. We'll skip it. Step the left leg forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Five times as you exhale, slide that right leg forward. Inhale it back. Four more. Inhale into your crescent. Exhale, take it down, vinyasa or not. Right leg draws in. Come all the way to stand on that right leg as you inhale. We've got two more rounds. Exhale, send it through your warrior three. All the way down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, vinyasa. Left leg steps forward. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, right knee forward. Inhale it back. Four more. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, vinyasa. Right knee comes to the chest. Come all the way to stand on that right leg. Inhale. Exhale via your warrior three. Nice and controlled all the way down. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, slide back. Vinyasa or skip. Left knee towards the chest. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, right knee draws in. Inhale it back. Four more. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. Find your left foot on that other slider if you haven't already. Come into your plank pose, take an inhale. As you exhale, right knee slides to chest. Inhale, swap. Exhale, swap. Inhale, swap. We're doing mountain climbers. You can stay at this pace or you can speed it up. I don't want you to speed it up and lose your form. So I want you to keep that plank. The movement is not coming from momentum. It's coming from your abs, your hip flexors. We're going to be here for about five more breaths, maybe like 30 seconds. Come back to your plank, walk your hands back to your feet, bring your mat with you if you folded it up. And step off those sliders onto the back of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Walk yourself back out into a plank pose. Option to take a vinyasa, option to hang out and down with dog. And then we meet in down with dog. Look towards the top of the mat, step, walk or flip. 
Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, chair pose. Swishing. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, take it through your vinyasa. We'll go straight to dog. So lots of vinyasas in this class. Always feel free to skip, skip them. Inhale, sweep that right leg up. As you exhale, you're going to open the hip, bend the knee. Draw the right heel in towards the glute, right knee towards the sky, right shoulder down in line with the left. You can feel free to stay here. Otherwise, you can keep traveling backwards, sending that right foot towards the floor, coming into wild thing. I'm going to modify for my foot, and I'm going to come into a side plank first and step it back. You could also do that. Take a couple of breaths here. Really press the floor away. From here, big transition. You're going to step that right foot all the way up in between the feet. Uh, in between the hands rather, inhale, crescent lunge, step your foot between your feet. As you exhale, you're going to open it up to the side, warrior two. Back foot turns, front heel intersects with the back arch. Make sure you can see your right big toe. Engage your hips, sink nice and low, grow tall out of the spine. Keep your warrior two legs. Inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, come down, side angle pose. Right hand can be to the inside or the outside of the right leg. You could also go forearm to thigh, lengthen through the leg, lengthen through the spine. Inhale, reverse your warrior. As you exhale, you're going to cartwheel those hands down. Pop up on the back heel, plant the left hand. Inhale, open up, simple twist. As you exhale, you're going to thread that right hand under. See if you can tap the left thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, thread it under. One more here. Inhale. Exhale. This time as you inhale, you're going to open up side plank pose. Modify however you need to. Stack or stagger the feet. Drop the bottom knee. You're going to take a nice deep inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to thread that top arm underneath the bottom. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, open it up. Three more here. Inhale, open up, side plank pose. As you exhale, option to keep that right leg floating as you take it through your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep that left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Heel towards the glute, knee to the sky, shoulders are in a line. Option to stay here, option to keep traveling, drop that left foot behind the right, push the floor away, wild thing. Big transition, come all the way back, step that left foot all the way up in between the hands, inhale, raise up, crescent lunge. And then as you exhale, open up. Warrior two.
flip your front palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. And then as you exhale, come down into your side angle pose. Keep your warrior two legs as you inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cut, pull that right hand down, come up off the back heel. Inhale, simple twist, open the left arm. Exhale, thread it under, tap the right thigh. Inhale, simple twist. Exhale, thread it under. One more here. Time you're going to open up all the way into your side plank pose. Take an inhale here, establish your Alignment points, left hip on top of right. Inhale. As you exhale, thread right arm underneath left. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, thread it under. You can always drop to the elbow if you need. Inhale, open it up. Three more here. Inhale, take that left arm up. As you exhale, option single leg chaturanga. Downward facing dog. Walk yourself all the way to the back of the mat. Once again, you're going to get that mat out of your way if you need to do that. You're going to come all the way up to standing. We're going to have the right foot on the slider. So if you're not using sliders, you're going to come in and out of just a side lunge. So as you inhale, you're going to come back as if you're coming into chair pose, but the right leg will slide to the right and you'll sink down into that left hip. And then as you exhale, drive through the left leg, draw the right knee in towards you. Inhale, keep that left knee facing forward, sink back in the hip. Exhale, come to stand. I'm going to show you from the side. As you inhale, you're sinking back into that hip. So my knee's not way forward, my hips are back. Exhale, come all the way back up. We have seven more here. This is your last one. We're going to stay on that left leg. If you're not using a slider, we're coming into Shiva squats. Otherwise, we're coming into a curtsy. You're going to slide that right leg way behind you, bend into the left knee. And then as you exhale, come all the way up. As you inhale, come down. That knee and foot can turn out slightly. As you exhale, drive through that glute, come to stand. We've got eight more. If you, always, if you wanted to make this harder, you could always hold on to something heavy. Or you could loop a band around the foot that's moving and attach it to something behind you so you're pulling against extra resistance. Come to face your mat. If you're not using a slider, you can just step through this next bit. We're going to come into, once again, some single leg kind of work. So draw your left knee in towards your chest. Take an inhale, sweep the arms up. As you exhale, left leg comes back via your warrior three, hands all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, slide that right leg back, single leg plank. Take an inhale. Keep the left leg floating if you can. Exhale, right knee to chest, inhale it back. You can always be holding a single leg plank and instead of the right leg sliding, you're just floating it back into a single leg plank and then knee to chest. We've got six more. Let's work the 
quad more than anything. Slide that leg all the way in. Ground down through the right leg, left knee to chest. Inhale, come all the way to standing. Exhale, hands through heart center. That left foot is going to come to the inside edge of the right thigh or shin. We're coming into tree pose. You can take your hands wherever you want to. That slider, if it's underneath you, is probably going to add a little bit of instability and make this harder, which is fine, but make sure that you're safe. So you can do something similar to what we did before. If you were not using a slider, you're going to come down into a single leg plank and do left knee to left elbow. Otherwise, we're going to hold this plank, uh, sorry, we're going to hold this tree leg. You're going to inhale. You're going to start to bend through your right knee. You might have to, depending on your flexibility, you might have to reestablish that tree leg once you get down there. And we're going to send that right leg back into a tree plank. So however you need to get there, you're going to get there. We're going to hold this. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, hold that tree leg on the left. So you're just going to bend the right knee. Inhale it out. So it's like we're going from a tree plank to a tree bear. Tree plank to a tree bear. You'll be glad to know that we only have three more of these. And then if you can keep the tree, you're going to do it. I can't do it. You're going to raise all the way back up to standing on that right leg. Take a nice deep inhale. And then as you exhale, come to standing. Who's going to switch that slider? To the other side my back is going to be to you but that is okay we're going to start with those lateral lunges so as you inhale sink the hips back slide the left leg out exhale bring it to stand inhale take it back exhale come to stand you've got eight more From here, you're still going to be standing on that right leg. You're either coming into Shiva squats or we're coming into those curtsy lunges. I can't go as deep on this side because of my foot, but you'll go as deep as you can. Exhale, press to stand. Inhale, that left leg will slide off on the diagonal behind you to the right. Exhale, press to stand. Eight more here. Last one. If you turn to face away from your mat, you're going to come and face the front end of your mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, draw the right knee to chest. Inhale, come forward through your warrior three. Exhale, hands down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift and lengthen. As you exhale, float it back out into the single leg plank. Remember, you could be in a single leg plank driving that left knee in towards the chest. Otherwise, as you exhale, slide the left leg in, inhale it out, exhale it in, inhale it out. Take eight more. Try and keep that right leg strong behind you. Draw that left leg all the way and press all the way up to standing. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, that right foot is going to find the inner edge of that left leg somewhere. And we're going to come into our tree pose.
keep your tree leg if you can. You're going to start to bend through your left knee as much as you need to to get your hands down to the floor. This is probably not going to look graceful, and that's okay. Oh, I don't know if I can do it on this side. I can. And then you're going to slide that left leg back. Hopefully, you still have that tree leg. We're coming from our plank. You're going to take an inhale. Exhale into your bear. Inhale to your plank. Exhale to your bear. Inhale to your plank. Three more. Bring it all the way in. Come all the way up to standing. Take a nice deep inhale. Exhale. Set it down. You're going to kick your slider off to the side. You're going to roll out that mat. We've only got one more little transition in through our twists. Make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale. Come into your chair pose. Exhale. Slide right arm back. Inhale, bring it to chair. Exhale, knees stay aligned, left arm back. Inhale into your chair. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, chair. Two more each side. Inhale into your chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale here. As you exhale, left elbow outside of right knee. Hands to heart center. Open the right rib cage towards the sky. Keep the knees in line. Lengthen through the crown of the head. From here, you're going to keep the twist in your chair. You're just going to step your left leg back, and we've landed in our twisted crescent. If this doesn't work for you, you can take that left hand down to the floor. From here, you're going to open up the arms, take an inhale. As you exhale, pick yourself up. Twisted crescent. Right hip is drawing in line with the left. Right rib cage is spiraling towards the back of the room, and you're reaching long through both of your arms. Option to stay here, or right hand finds the back of the left leg. Reach that left arm up and over, coming into a reverse twisted crescent lunge. Take an inhale, come through crescent lunge. Exhale, option to take a vinyasa or come straight to downward dog. In your downward facing dog, your left leg is, sorry, your left hand is going to reach for your right ankle. Draw the left elbow off to the left, look out underneath the right armpit. Option to stay or challenge the balance. See if you can float that left leg up any amount. Keep twisting. Float that left leg down, float the left hand down, look towards the top of the mat, step forward, go float. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, sternum to thumbs. Exhale, right elbow outside of left knee. Make sure your knees stay in the line. Open the left rib cage to the sky. Keep the twist, you're going to get light on the right foot, ground down through the left foot and just slowly, calmly step the right leg back, landing in your twisted crescent lunge. Even off through the hips as much as you can. From here, you're going to release your bind arms long. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, pick yourself all the way up. 
twisted crescent. Left hand finds the back of the right thigh. Inhale, come into your twisted reverse crescent. Come back center, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, optional vinyasa, option straight to downward dog. From here, your right hand is going to find the outside of your left leg somewhere. Draw the right elbow off to the right. Stay or look down towards the floor. See if you can float that right leg up any amount. And then float that leg down. Walk your hands back towards the back of the mat. We've got one more little plank move and then we are going to lie down. So fold up your mat if you need to make space. Feet come back on those gliders and you're coming into your plank pose. From here, you're going to swivel both heels towards the right. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep that turn in your pelvis, even weight through the hands. You're going to draw the knees in towards you. Inhale, slide it back. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, slide it back. Eight more. Come back to plank pose. Swivel both of your heels towards the left. Take an inhale, keep the turn. As you exhale, draw the knees in, inhale them out. Exhale, knees in, inhale them out. Take eight more. Figure out a position for this foot. Come back to plank pose. Walk your hands back towards your feet. Take your mat with you. And then you're going to walk yourself down, hands and knees. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, tuck and round. Inhale, cow belly breath. Exhale, tuck and round. And one more here. From here, you're going to set your forearms down. We're going to come into a dolphin pose. You can do this with or without the sliders. So you can come into normal dolphin push-ups. Otherwise, we're going to slide the legs in and out. So if you need room, you might need to unfold fold your mat up again. Sorry. This was unplanned. I just thought of it. You're going to come into your dolphin pose. Take an inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, you're going to slide back into a forearm plank or you're going to shift forward and tap the nose between the thumbs. As you exhale, you're drawing up into your dolphin. Inhale, send it long. Exhale, draw it up. We've got eight more. Two more. Last one. Set those knees down. And you're just going to flip yourself onto your back. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to move my mat a little bit so that you can still see what my feet are doing. So you're going to be on your back with your feet on your gliders. We're going to start with just a bridge and then we're going to add movement. So take a nice deep inhale, option to float the hands up. As you exhale, press through the feet, roll up the spine into your bridge. Inhale here. As you exhale, peel down the spine segment by segment. 
Inhale, release. Exhale, tuck the pelvis, roll up the spine. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll it down. One more like that. Inhale. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale at the top. Exhale, roll it down. This time you're going to keep your spine in neutral. You're going to take an inhale. As you exhale, you're just going to press through the feet, lift up into a bridge. Hands are probably going to need to come down beside your body. Take an inhale. We're going to start with just one leg. Keep your pelvis even. As you exhale, you're going to slide the right leg out. And then inhale, contract the hamstring, draw it back in. As you exhale, I'm going to slide the left leg out. And then as you inhale, draw it back in. So what you're looking for here is that as you slide that leg out, the distance between your ribs and your hips isn't changing. And the leg that's sliding out, that hip isn't dropping down towards the floor. We're going to do two more on each side. We're going to hold in that bridge. Take an inhale here. Exhale. As you inhale, you're going to slide both legs out. If that's not happening, you stick with the first variation. Exhale. Press into the hands. Slide the legs back in. Inhale. Slide out. Exhale. Slide in. We've got eight more here. Two more. Inhale into your plank. Exhale, bring it down. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to slide both of your legs out long. We're going to come into a long bridge. So you've got a gentle bend in your knees, but your legs are long. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're going to lift your hips up. Inhale, slide the right leg out. Exhale, slide it in. Inhale, slide the left leg out. Ouch. Exhale, slide it in. Don't hit the couch. Inhale, slide it out. Exhale it in. Inhale, slide it out. Exhale, slide it in. Two more each side. You have the option to stay here. Otherwise, we're going to go for 10 with both legs out at the same time. So inhale, split. Exhale together. Inhale, split. Exhale together. Eight more. Try to keep the knees facing to the sky, but off the ground. Two more. Last one. Draw the knees in towards you. Release those sliders. You draw the right knee in towards the chest. Extend the leg, grab behind the calf. You can stay here and just keep this as a hamstring stretch, stretch after five breaths, a uh, switch after five breaths. Otherwise, as you exhale, chin to chest, ribs slide towards the hips, the left leg's going to float. We're going to turn this into our scissors. So you're going to exhale, exhale the knee towards you, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale, switch. The single leg stretch in Pilates. I'm going to do three more each side. Last set. Hold that left leg, set the right foot down, come into a hamstring stretch. And then draw the knees in towards your chest. You're going to cross your left ankle over your right leg. Take the arms to a capital T. You can totally hang out here in your reclined pigeon. Otherwise, if you want to take this to a twist, you're going to let the knees fall over to the left, using that left foot as a bit of an anchor to stretch through the right. 
Draw your right shoulder down. And then come back through center, cross right ankle over left knee, scooch the hips a bit to the left, draw down through the left shoulder as you let the legs come over to the right. Come back through center, Draw the knees in towards the chest, maybe take a happy baby or any other pose that you need to to make yourself feel complete. And when you're ready, you're going to take a nice deep inhale through the nose. And then as you're ready, exhale into your final resting position, whatever that looks like for you. And I encourage you to do at least take a couple of nice deep cycles of breath here just to let the body unwind. And then if you have longer and it serves you, please stay for as long as it feels good for you. Today, as you go forward, may you have tolerance in your thoughts, gratitude in your words, and peace in your heart. Namaste.